Welcome back to Quarantine Circular. In the last episode, Alizima and Gabriel talked about exactly what Gabriel can do to help stop the epidemic spreading across the world. Came up with some plans, and Gabriel started actually manufacturing the bacteriophage that's going to be used to attack the... I believe it's a virus. Bacteria that attacks a virus or a virus that attacks a bacteria? I forgot which one. But it's going to make one of those to attack the virus or bacteria that is the epidemic. It's being manufactured through their suit, just needed a couple hours or so. And that is where we pick off in intervention number five, is after waiting a couple hours and I believe the phage has been created. Whatever happens tomorrow morning, I'm glad we met. This world, your people, there is hope. How rare is life up there? Less than you would think. Life is not a rare gem. It is the inevitable outcome of the galaxy. Carbon, water, a temperature that keeps the water mostly in liquid form. This is not rare. Suppose there are even more species out there when one thinks beyond carbon-based life. Actually, carbon is pretty central to most life known in the universe. Its complex and strong bonding is central to, devel to the development of life. Its nearest neighbor, silicon, is brittle and weak. The humans I've met are obsessed with the rareness of life in the universe, the great distances involved. But do you know what the greatest gulf that separates us is? Time. Life takes billions of years to develop into sentient beings. Those sentient beings only tend to last a hundred thousand years or so. Time has trapped us. We are present in this life, in this moment. Life is everywhere, in every corner of this galaxy, but flourishing cultures? Here and gone in a heartbeat. I'm sorry, overly poetic. That's why you try to stop extinction events? Absolutely. If we can get you past these terrible deaths, there's a chance you will join us in the stars. Humanity deserves the chance. But enough of politics. There was something else I wanted to talk to you about. I know this has nothing to do with what they're saying, but I still want to say it. Gabriel, are you familiar with rhyming? I think you'd like it. It's similar to your kangaroo words. I've not encountered it. How does that work? Um, I say a sentence, and you say another that ends the same. And this pleases humans. It seems rather tame. You like this process? I'm doing it right. Yes, that's the one. This will pass the night. Now let's try something longer, like hippopotamus. So rhyming with hippopotamus. <laughs> let's see what they come up with. It feels like a hassle. It feels like a lot of fuss. Hippopotamus. Fuss. Hippopotamus. Fuss. Yeah, okay, that kind of works. But I think I like it. Are you having fun? But I think I like it. Are you having fun? Well, good news, Gabriel. We've only begun. Internal rhymes are tricky. They take time to master. Turtle rhymes are tricky, they take time to master. Maybe if you are picky, but I can rhyme faster. I can rhyme from the left, I can rhyme from the right. Your rhymes are so deft, we'll be here all night. That was fun. What was that called? Uh... uh a rap battle, <laughs> sort of, I guess? A fun battle, and an intellectual challenge. 
I enjoyed myself, thank you. Oh, I just realized we have a bar here for friendship with Zima. Get to know Gabriel. Okay, so I guess the couple hours or so that it's going to take to manufacture the phage is not done yet. We're just kind of... This is forwards a bit in time from the last chapter, but still got a ways to go. Get to know him while we're waiting. What's wrong? You have come to treat me well, Professor Zima. I wanted to thank you. We can fix all this together, and I am grateful to you for trusting in me to solve this. You are not the first human to show me trust, but I appreciate it all the same. I'm pleased you found some humanity among humans, Gabriel. I have. It is encouraging. It implies that my work here is not in vain, that I am helping a people worthy of that help. It matters. Are we friends, Professor Zima? Yeah. Good. I like that very much. I do still have questions about the politics. Of course, please. Does the order... Do they... Oh, that's interesting. So the focus points are context dependent. It's not just one of these focus points equals one question that you can ask. It depends on the context of what you're doing it in. At least in this case, I don't think they've quite used something like this before, but does the order, so I pick the focus point, the order, and then now that allows me to ask these other focus points about the order. Right? Does the order know about extinction events? Does the order take the interventionists seriously? Interesting. Yeah, do they take the interventionists seriously? Very much so. We scare them because we challenge their philosophy. Enemies with guns and war crimes are easy to bat away or destroy, but people who are capable of actually challenging their constrained view of ethics are dangerous. It would appear I am dangerous. Huh, so once I selected the order and then asked about the order in relation to interventionists, now I can't go back to the order and ask the order in relation to extinction events. So I, then, I think within each of these I can only ask one of the two other focus points, so I should probably focus on the focus points that I want. I'm interested in how interventionists first formed against the order or stop extinction events. How did they first form against the order? Because, I mean, we already kind of know how they stop extinction events, right? They do what they're doing right here. They visit the planet, they come up with a plan. Well, I think they sort of come up with a plan and then visit the planet, or something like that, but... Um, we are an opposing force. Every perspective in the universe, every being, every gravitational pull has always developed in opposition. I think of us as an outcome of their hubris, their certainty about their place in the universe. Want to know if extinction events... Hmm, have occurred on the worlds of the Order, or are tracked by the Interventionists? Are they tracked by the Interventionists? Yes, of course. We track the evolution of sentient species and estimate likely dates for these events. Unfortunately, those estimates are broad, which is why I am only arriving now, once the event is already underway. Oh. I'm out of questions. Alright. Thank you for asking them. It's comforting that you have such a strong interest in my work. Eh, 
and Tang lays back. Step back from Gabriel, Professor. She is using my name. Progress. Give us space, Tang. We're trying to work. No, I think not. Step back. I'm taking over. Security override 54B. It's time someone capable to control this little chat. What are you doing? Uh... I'm... I didn't expect this. I'm playing as Tang now. Again, another character shift. I'm here to end this. I'm here to help. What I should have done a long time ago. Here to help? This is interesting. The game's putting me in an interesting position. Oh, also there's a fade progress meter above Gabriel. I wonder if I can actually stop the fade, the fade progress, like... God, is there a version of this branching narrative where... We never get the help of Gabriel? You know, we just like, the phage doesn't progress, or we don't distribute it, or whatever. And then humanity just dies out. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's interesting that they're putting me in the shoes of... Tang, because so far, everybody I've played... ...has been someone who I have, like, a vested interest in... ...going with... ...their motivations? Like, my motivations as a player are pretty decently aligned with their motivations as a character, like Mark Perez. General motivation, uh, as a player, is, you know, treat Gabriel with respect. They're interesting, I want to talk with them, I want to understand why they're here, I want to help them, I want them to help us with their situation. And Mark Perez felt a pretty similar way, just kind of a generally nice person. I mean, there were some options to be not super nice, but generally pretty nice. So, my own desires were pretty well aligned with Mark Perez. Similarly with Professor Alizima. They're also pretty respectful and want similar things that I want. Playing as Gabriel, I want to protect them. They want to protect themselves. I wanted to help humanity. They wanted to help humanity. Again, aligning pretty well. But, but playing as Tang is very odd because my motivations don't align with Tang at all. Tang hates Gabriel, wants to stop them, wants to probably just outright kill them. And I obviously don't want that. So I'm now going to be playing the character in a very oppositional way, right? I'm going to be trying to trip up the character rather than trying to be successful with the character. Uh, I'm here to help? That's odd. They can't be as nice as it sounds, right? Unless something happened? Tang has just realized something? I doubt it. I'm here to help. Forgive me if I'm unconvinced. Officer Tang, I'm still here, and I would ask you to de-escalate the situation. Um, I don't know where this is going, but I'd like to work with you, Professor, but I need your help. What do you need? Hmm. I can't tell if this is Tang actually being sort of nice, or if it's Tang just being manipulative. I think just being manipulative. I need to talk to the alien about their objectives. I have fully explained myself. They explain their position so well that we're currently working with them. We're running out of time, Tang. Back off. What do you want, murderer? Murderer? Who did Tang murder? Hold on. Gabriel said that it's in their interest, or it, it makes sense for them to come... It made sense for them to come to Dubrovnik, like they do with other civilizations, as a small team, right? So that the people, the, the entities of the planet that are trying to be 
that the interventionists are trying to save so the people of the planet don't think that the interventionists are an invading force so they come with a small team well i mean technically gabriel could be a small team just in and of themselves but maybe they actually had a couple people when they were captured in dubrovnik remember tang is the one who captured them maybe they captured gabriel and killed one or more others An exaggeration. Really? I believe I'm utterly correct in my language. Maybe the translator is broken. Murder means to kill, correct? Officer, what do you want? I don't like where this is going. This is... getting very uncomfortable and I don't know what Tang's plan is exactly. So I can't pick any of these options with any confidence. I'm um, here to do two things. The first is a conversation. What is the second? What do you want to know? Hmm... Makes them think we can't save ourselves from this extinction event. I presume it was probably the dead bodies on the streets of Dubrovnik. I'm sorry, that's somewhat blunt, but it's true. We're losing here, officer. Now I'm trying to re now I'm reevaluating how I'm playing Tang. Should I play them in opposition to them, trying to trip them up, or should I play them as if I'm role playing them? I don't know yet. Maybe we'd be winning if you weren't wasting your time. You have my respect, but you are entirely unqualified to judge where I should be spending my time. I'm curious if when I ask each focus point, is the phage progress actually progressing? I'm going to keep an eye up there. Tell me why we should even consider working with the interventionists. It's not moving. No, it didn't move. Okay. It's not obvious. They want to help us save, li save lives. Their motives are clear, and Gabriel here holds the key to our survival. To what end? They want us to join their army. Yes, my species of ten feet tall armored monsters definitely needs your help. Your guns are so impressively archaic. <laughs> I love Gabriel. They want us to survive. If their intent is to upset those in power, that's the easiest way for them to do it. Have we considered reaching out to the Order? Reaching out? You make it sound so casual. You cannot do that. Uh, they might let us in. The damage of contamination is done. No. As far as they are concerned, interaction with me has thrown you off your natural development. Humanity will be known as an errant population. You will be alone. For how long? Likely until you show up in a faster-than-light spacecraft. So... A while. For good questions, it's time for you to leave, Professor. No. I'm not going anywhere until Gabriel has finished developing the phage treatment. How far off are we, Gabriel? Quite far. Hours. Then I'm not going anywhere, Officer. Oh, I thought it would be a couple hours to develop the whole thing, but I guess it's going to take... Basically all night, so I don't know, like eight hours plus?
Um, I have rank on you, Professor. God, I hate Tang. Right now, you're interrupting important work. The Admiral asked you to leave. Does rank matter in the face of extinction? Fine. Be silent while I address Gabriel, then. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Okay, well, Tang would absolutely block Professor Zima, so in this case I'm not role-playing them, I am working in opposition to them, so leave Zima able to speak. Say your piece, Tang. You came back. Why? Have you not done enough? I've done nothing to you. That's bullshit. Nothing. Why did you even come here? I covered that ground right after the Admiral dismissed you. Short version, I am from space and here to save your world. Stop this. I'm inclined to agree with my colleague. Why are you here, Lei? What could this possibly achieve? Yeah, I figured they were here to... St well, stop Gabriel, <laughs> as the quest says. Kill you or anesthetize you. Hmm. Well, you can guess which one I'm going to do. Let's stop the phage progress. Will anesthetizing them even work? We don't even know how they how they work biologically. Like, how do we even know what dose to give them of what drug and whether it'll even be effective or maybe just accidentally kill them? Ah. Uh, I'm here to anesthetize you, Gabriel. What? You're dangerous, and I need time to consider our options. You need time. Your Admiral gave you an order. Your solution to every problem cannot possibly be to hit it over the head. I remember what you did, even if you forgot. What are you talking about? This machine we are talking through, it doesn't understand names. A human needs to manually input a name for it to be usable. Mark told me that. I liked him. He was better to me than he had to be, and I'm grateful. I wish those I met later had half his character. Because of that failure of your technology, I am called Gabriel. And my friend, my co-pilot, has no name. The co-pilot you took for me yesterday, the one you killed in cold blood. Yep, they did come with another person. Mm. My squad was securing the location. No. Your squad was there to murder us, to tear us to shreds. I should do the same to you, tear you apart. I'd like to see you try. You think you're safe. <laughs> of course I'm safe, I put that restraint on you myself. Thanks for taking it off, Mark. I remember. How could you do this, Lei? Because we are not human. It is easy to kill something you do not understand. Maybe the Order has you people right. You are just primitives, dangerous animals that shouldn't be allowed to join us. You both have to calm down. Stop this.
Should I try to antagonize them? I kind of want to antagonize them just so that uh, Lei might get killed because I want them to get killed because they're fucking pieces of shit. But also at the same time, if that happens, um, that's probably not going to be good for saving humanity. I doubt the Admiral is going to listen to Gabriel as, as much as they were before. So let's de-escalate. Step back, Gabriel. It is too late for that. I almost want to say I'll give you a quick death, because there's absolutely no way that Tang is actually going to be able to stop Gabriel and actually kill them. There's no way. Especially since the restraint is off, or disabled. So I know they're not going to be effective in killing them. And if Tang tries to explicitly kill Gabriel, then that's just self-defense from Gabriel. That gives them a better chance of of still being able to make the phage and, and help humanity. Hmm. I'm gonna go with de-escalating. Step back. Hmm. Yeah. Dodge or stand your ground. Hmm. Dodge? Did Professor Zima get hit or just dodge out of the way? I feel like they accidentally got hit, but I'm not sure. Either way. I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So we just finished intervention. Time for diagnosis. Then after that treatment. Wow. Um, yeah. Let's just go. Uh, let's just go with some thoughts on that before I actually end the episode. Though, a lot happened there. I am wondering if Gabriel is is Gabriel acting on emotion here? Like, are they just as sick of Tang as I am, and that's why they're going after them, or is this like a cold calculated thing where they're thinking okay I have to do this or there's no hope of achieving my goals here right like is this an emotional response just out of anger trying to hit them or or what I don't know I feel like hitting them could not possibly help them because Tang was saying step back right Tang said I'm going to anesthetize you and then after that said step back step back I'd like to see you try to hit me that sort of stuff Right? They didn't explicitly say, I'm going to kill you or anything like that. So... I don't feel like Gabriel is that justified in hitting them when they're told to step back and they choose to attack. I feel like they were acting out of just provocation. Hmm. Maybe I should have tried to kill Gabriel because I knew that would have been ineffective. Shit, I don't know. We'll see what the fallout is in the next episode. I'm I'm worried about Gabriel now, though, and Professor Zima. I hope they're okay. All right. That is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And when I return, we'll begin diagnosis.